All right, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part 11 on my Lotus Salon. So we're working on front suspension uprights and everything. So I'm going to pull apart the uh, front struts, check out, you know, condition of them, clean them up, put them back together, possibly. If they're bad, replace. If not, put them back in for now. I ultimately want to do a like coilover type suspension and possibly a lowering spring on the coilover. Not 100% sold on it yet. I don't want the car to ride real rough. So we'll see how OE suspension is or OE type suspension. Because I'm pretty sure this has been replaced previously. So I want to see how that goes and go from there pretty much before I decide on if I want stiffer or softer maybe. So we'll see. So another quick announcement on the channel. I've just crested a thousand subscribers, which is awesome to see. Been doing YouTube since like 2014 or 2013 even. I think 2014 was about when I started. 14 or 15, can't 100% remember. So I'm pretty happy that I finally hit a thousand subscribers. And yeah, so thanks to everybody that watches. So let's get started. Okay, so the main problem with the uh, Lotus Lawn front springs is they are too small to use a standard spring compressor. So all this spring fits in on a lot, not a lot of strut. So I don't know why they decided to do it this way, but that's a lot of spring to fit in there. Now the other thing is, unlike a lot of normal struts, the nuts up top, where these bushings are, don't keep the uh, spring in place. So you can you know, freely take these bushings off, replace them without disturbing the spring. What holds the spring in is a collar that sits in right there. So you have to get the spring pushed down enough to unseat this and slip it out. Now you have to also get it down far enough that if your bump stop is all the way pushed up, you have to get in there and you know, essentially pry it down as far as you can so you can slip the lock collar in and out like that. So it's not difficult. It's a little sketchy what I made to do this. Uh, I guess motorcycle shops should be able to do this. Some of the motorcycles use like a very similar spring type. But I'll show you what I made and how I'm going to do them. So, because it's going to be really hard to get enough of these coils squeezed through the uh, open section where the, not where the uh, dust shield sits. So you have to make something to go around the bottom here and then around this top edge without sitting on this lock ring to compress it. So I used two pieces of half inch all thread and some spare steel plate that I had around the garage. And that's what I came up with. It's a little flimsy. It works well, because these are stock spring rate. Maybe a stiffer spring, it'd be a little bit of a challenge for it. But I'll show you how to do this. So that sits down in there like that. And then this one sits there and grabs the top side. Now, don't, shouldn't really have to say this, but working with springs, there's a lot of force on them. And things can get scary real quick if it suddenly is to be released. So just be smart about it. Be careful, and if something feels like it's about to slip off and take you out, it probably is. So just be smart about it. I'm sure there's probably a tool to do this that you can get somewhere on a website. If I can find one, I will put it in the video description. So it's pretty simple, but also kind of dangerous. So yeah, now I'm going to compress it, then pop it all apart, and... We'll check it out. All right. Let's spray a little 
WD-40 in to get that bump stop moving a little easier. Skipping. Right. There we go. Right, slip that on out. All right, so this part's pretty sketchy because you got a lot of travel on this spring. You can see that spring that I had out already. There's a lot of travel there. So you just gotta make sure you don't accidentally come out from here if you don't have these welded. I'm probably just gonna weld these nuts either to the all thread and then weld these nuts to this plate or vice versa, however it works out. Um, this was a 36 inch piece of all thread cut in half and the nuts do come out pretty far to the end before you are, you know, have all the tension off the spring. So pretty much just, uh, Wind those nuts out till uh, all the tension's off the spring, and then it comes apart pretty nicely. All right, now we're good. Okay, so something I'm gonna do to the spring compressor before I put it back together is right here where this sits, I'm gonna put a little cup of some sort, maybe like a, this like exhaust adapter piece through here and weld it just so it holds that and keeps it straight and centered in there that might be a benefit and it may also do the same for back here as well just to keep it square in there and keep everything a little bit straight as we're uh you know pressing it just so it doesn't do anything weird and then i'm going to weld the nuts to the all thread up here. And then I'm going to weld these nuts to the bottom base plate. So then these would be bolts. Essentially these would be bolts going into this plate with the nuts. So I think that'll work out better when I go to put it together, but um, yeah, it worked. It's a little, a little rickety. So. so yeah, there's that. Everything looks pretty decent. Compress is fine. Rebound is resistance. So I think the struts are going to be all right, but I'm going to clean them up and then uh, check my rear struts. Then so it'll at least get me a little bit. And worst case scenario, if I have to uh, pull them out in car again and do it again, it's not a big deal. This car is pretty. Pretty simple to work on. So yeah. Hopefully uh, this video helps you get a strut compressor for yours. And then next video I'll have these cleaned up and uh, figure out exactly what I'm doing. Maybe put them together, put them on the car. But yeah, until then, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if I'm helping you out here in the area. Or just giving you a pure entertainment value watching me almost eat a flying spring compressor that I made. So, thanks for watching.